Anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing tonight, Kyle? Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. How are you doing, Jared? Doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Kyle, it is time for the Sloop Picks. These are the infamous Sloop Picks, as our logo says. The world famous infamous Sloop Picks. Welcome. We have a guest picker this week. The guest picker is Odin. Um, do you just want to get into it? You got anything else you want to, or should we just get straight into the no. picks? Let's straight into the picks here. We can spend some time okay. talking a little bit about these games. Oh, here. oh, I'm sorry. This isn't the graphic I meant to have up. Um, but hey, while it's up, hey everyone, let's look at uh week one results. Um, where I won. Sorry, Kyle, I didn't mean to have the scoreboard up. You know, this isn't this isn't a sprint, Jared. It's not a sprint. Now listen, I didn't mean I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I, I you know, I'm I'm so so sorry. Uh All right, Kyle. Now we have the sloop picks on the screen. Now we have the sloop picks right. on the screen. All right, let, let's talk about the I guess I guess this is really the only big game this weekend. Um Yeah. At yeah. least at least rank on rank it's it's the it's the main one, I guess. But Texas. Texas heading on up to Ann Arbor. Just saying NC State hey. is technically ranked. Fair. Texas heading on up to Ann Arbor to take on that team up north. As Quinn Ewers said uh yeah, in didn't. his recent in, in his in his recent um uh interview when he was talking to the media i think it was yesterday or not oh, yesterday. he said it again it would have been tuesday on tuesday he was talking about heading on up to ann arbor to uh take on that team up north he did that a couple months ago too and he did he did or that may, this maybe it too, wasn't a couple so. months but it, maybe it was a few weeks with it exactly with z spikes with a smirk listen and that's all i needed <laughs> to win me back like I'm I'm back on board with Quinn Ewers. That's all I needed. I'm now cheering yep. for him again. <laughs> that's that's all I needed. I'm I'm back on the Quinn Ewers train now. You you gonna hold on to that Michigan hate? You he was he was only here for a couple months. I'm on board now. That that anti-Michigan indoctrination goes hard in Columbus. It goes so hard. Texas, Michigan. Kyle, this line, if you listen to uh, Collegiate Chaos on Tuesday, you heard us live react to the line, which opened at two and a half. I am sad to say I did not. Um, I did not get to my digital bookie fast enough to lock in that two and a half point spread. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been nice. But you know what? Seven and a half is still pretty nice as well. I may have still. Listen, don't real life gamble. But in a in but 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 I got in my Minecraft server and I may have put some money on Texas in Minecraft. <laughs> in Minecraft, uh, there there may have been some money put on Texas in Minecraft. Uh Kyle, do you, um, I guess I gave it away. I'm picking Texas. I'm picking I'm picking the Longhorns. I'm picking the Longhorns as well. All right, Kyle, we have a guest picker this week. His pick's already on the board. Uh, his name is Odin. What did he have to say about this one? He says here, game one. Let me slide this over. Uh, he says, Texas win in a comfortable second half, slow first, 27 to 17. 27 to 17. Still covers. I, I think it'll be bigger than that. I, I th yeah, I think it's be. I, I think don't it'll be see like, Michigan scoring 17 points. 
it would be like 31 to 7, 10 maybe. I, I don't think Michigan's going to really really score that well. I was thinking they're thir- score, they're not going to score that much. I was thinking 38 10. Yeah. This game by the way, uh in Ann Arbor uh playing at it's a it's big noon Friday, uh noon on Fox. I'm it has to be the Gus Johnson special. There there's no way it's not. You don't even look it up. We can just assume that did I say Friday? Was my Adderall Saturday, wearing dude. off? Big <laughs> Noon Saturday. Saturday. It's, it's, it is Big Noon kickoff. Big yeah. Noon Saturday. All right, next game, Jared. Georgia Tech and Syracuse. Speaking of former Ohio State quarterbacks. Yes, former it's not a it's not not an intentional theme, but here we are. Uh, Georgia Tech <laughs> favored by three and a half points. This is being played on the Syracuse campus in Syracuse, New York. Uh, it's kicking off at noon. It is on the ACC network. This, by the way, uh, apparently the premier game in the ACC this week. I, you know, Georgia Tech, I mean, when you, Miami, when you're top, Syracuse when you're holding top things team, down for the ACC right now. When your top team loses their first two games of the season. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't bode well here. Three, uh, three and a half here. It's almost a pick em. Almost a pick em, pretty much. Almost. Almost, but uh, I... I I'll take I'll take Georgia Tech here, Jared. I'll take Georgia Tech. I I like what I saw, what I've seen so far from Georgia Tech here. Yeah, Syracuse, Syracuse, they they can they can sling it around here, but I I don't. They're going to have to be more consistent to uh, to win this game. So I'll I'll pick I'll pick Georgia Tech. Where are we? Are we just like on board the Georgia Tech train? Should we still be Uh, this? After we after we saw Boston College also defeat Florida State, are we a little are we a little too eager? They are from the hated city of Atlanta. I have to point that out as well. That is that is true. McCord is going to throw for three thirty seven and four touchdowns. Whew. Yikes. Tech might bully Cruz, Esquire says. Uh, what does Odin say, Kyle? Uh, also wants to know what's you to say. Three seventy-seven, not three thirty-seven. Uh, Odin says yeah, this whatever. is the game of I'm the fine. week. He says this, this is Adderall. the this is the game of the week here. McCord does play well, and they squeak out a one-score win. So he has the underdog. He does, in fact, have the underdog. All right, Kyle. All right. Nope, you go ahead. You do it. The battle of Ohio, battle for the state of Iowa, Iowa hmm. and Iowa State. Kyle, how much both? How much would you invest in a, in a battle for Iowa? None. <laughs> <laughs> both teams want to know coming into this game and Iowa. This is a this is a pick 'em. This is pretty much a pick 'em. Two and a half point favorite. Who do you got? Do you got Iowa? Or do you have Iowa State? I got Iowa. Kate McNamara? Nah, I'm kidding. I got Iowa State. I'm just taking the dog on this. You should have known I was kidding the second I said Cade McNamara. Um, no, I'm just I'm just taking I'm straight up taking the underdog on this. This is such a 50-50 game in my head that if you're gonna, even if it's only two and a half points. If you're gonna if you're gonna give me points, I'm gonna take the points. Yeah, this is gonna be. I think historically this has always been a low scoring, low scoring game here. You I, don't say. I, I think this this is gonna be like a seventeen ten game, something like that. It's 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 gonna be close, but I I got I got. 
Iowa to win this game. I'll pick the Hawkeyes. Austin said, I was going to win this game eight to six with four safeties. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Luke uh, Lachey, Odin. three touchdown game incoming. They scored 40 <laughs> last week. All of those in the second half against a vastly inferior football team. All right. Odin says, hopefully a low scoring hunting matchup. Iowa wins by a field goal. So he picks Iowa to cover. Yeah, he does. What's the next game, Kyle? I let me let me find that real quick. All right. It is Tennessee. Uh taking I got Nebraska on, Colorado on the graphic. <laughs> Tennessee and I, the Wolf Pack of I Tennessee got Nebraska State. and Colorado on the graphic, Kyle. <laughs> You do. Okay. I'm just going down by our pickums here. All right, fine. Colorado, Nebraska. Colorado, Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska is a seven and a half point favorite in this game here. I just don't I just don't really trust anything with Colorado <laughs> this year. That's fair. Maybe, maybe, maybe last year, but this Nebraska team just feels different. This year compared to other other years, maybe maybe it's because Frost is gone, maybe. But yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take the Cornhuskers. I'll take the Cornhuskers uh, to cover. You actually. know, I was trying to think about how I was going to express how I felt about this game. And then Austin said it, I think, better than than I was able to think of a way to say it. So I'm, I'm going to read Austin's answer down in the chat and then just co-sign it. Colorado could win this game by seven or lose by 50. Yep. Um, I'm just taking the underdog because both of these teams, Nebraska is obviously an improved Nebraska. They still got a freshman quarterback. You got a second year head coach. Again, they're trending in the right direction. All the respect in the world for what is happening in Lincoln, Nebraska right now. Um, However, Colorado, despite all of their inconsistencies, is still incredibly talented. You have two wildly inconsistent teams with a lot of talent. I'm just going to take the underdog here. Like this game, anything could happen in this football game. Anything could happen in this football game. Just give me the underdogs. Let me take the points and go home. I'm taking Colorado. All right. And Odin. Sorry, Kyle. Says, which here, who did you pick? I picked I pick the Cornhuskers. Uh, Odin says here, Nebraska has a great offense. Colorado, too. Taking the over is a smart bet, but Nebraska win it. So he has favorite the, uh, favorite the spread here. All right. I'm sorry, he's taking Nebraska? Yeah, he said he says here uh favorites the spread here. Uh he has Nebraska to win it. Okay. Um I thought he had Colorado. It says Nebraska, he said um taking the over is a smart bet but Nebraska wins it. Yeah, no, he's saying I think he's saying Nebraska wins, but taking the points is the smart bet. Pretty sure okay. he said, I'm pretty sure he's saying Colorado there. All right, we'll, 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 we'll clarify that. All right, now can I talk about Tennessee and C State? Sure. <laughs> oh, here goes Kyle again talking about the Wolfpack. This is, this You've is lived the in Duke's Raleigh too Mayo. long, Kyle. This this is the Duke's Mayo Classic game. So the winner winner gets a gets a big old tub of Duke's Mayo. Doesn't that sound fun? Pass. I agree, but <laughs> watch mayonnaise and mayonnaise only. <laughs> yeah. Um 
Tennessee, Tennessee's a seven and a half point favorite. This is a neutral site at Charlotte, two and a half hour drive for NC State. So I guess, I guess it's in state still. Sure, it's, but yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee by seven and a half points here. Kyle, before you answer that, before you answer that, let's take a quick ad break. Um, you can avoid these ad breaks by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com and support us for as little as $3 a month. That's and you can actually even pay for like all 12 months up. For, you're like, I don't want another monthly bill, even if it's only $3. I totally hear you on that. You can pay for the entire year up front. And not only if you pay for the entire year up front, are you just avoiding a monthly bill? But you also get a free month out of it. So it ends up being like 32, 50 or something like that. Like you, you, you get 12 months, you pay for 11 solid deal. Uh, you can do that by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com. Uh, you can also, uh, if you want to visit our t-shirt stores or, or go to any of our other, uh, links, websites, resources, join our discord at discord.thesloopcast.com. You'll find all of those links at thesloopcast.com. Here's those ads now. All right, Kyle, who you got in the Duke Mayo classic kickoff Southern strategy? What? I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, NC State's defense is still good, but their offense is still not. Their, their offense won't keep up here. I, I got I got the volunteers to to win this year. All right. Um, you said volunteers, right? I got the volunteers. Yep. Uh, I'm going NC State. I am not a believer in Tennessee. I put Tennessee in the same bucket as I put Miami, which is that I will die on the hill that they are going to die on the hill, like. This is just another season in which I'm supposed to believe the Tennessee hype, that I'm supposed to believe the Miami hype. I think some people fall in love with uniforms and don't see the actual product on the field, don't see the actual trends on the field. Yeah, they got a good quarterback. So what? I'm ahead of you on that one, Austin. I, he's looked good so far. There's a big difference between looking good in a game and... Tennessee's quarterback isn't just good, man. He's going to be elite. He still plays for Tennessee. That's all I'm saying. He said the same thing about Miami over the past couple of years. Yeah, but the quarterback's going to... Oh, have you seen King? He's so... Yeah, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Until it's proven otherwise, I'm... You know, not only that, it's seven and a half points. Uh, it's still right. week two. I'm going underdogs. Okay. I don't have anything from Odin, so we're going to have to get that off offline here of his pick for it. Uh, he, he does say NC State doesn't cover. Um, he said in a short form that he sent to me that I put down at the bottom of the. At the bottom of the show notes, Kyle. Got it. Okay. Got it. All right. And. The last game here is. Oregon and Boise State. Uh, this is ten o'clock on Peacock. Peacock, yeah, that on is the that, Peacock. That here. is what that logo is. <laughs> Man, that's an awful logo. It, it's not great. It, it is better it's in color. Awful. I will say this: I white scaled all of these logos to fit the chalkboard motif it is better in color i'm not saying it's good in color i'm saying it's better in color it's still bad though i'm look. i'm looking at it and it's eh. still bad i'm not saying eh. it's good i'm saying it's better eh. all right oregon is a 19 and a half point favorite yeah yeah i was running out of better options Week two is not yeah. great. We got Georgia Tech Syracuse Ooh. on the on the schedule. We got Oregon Boise kicking off at 10 o'clock on a streaming service on the schedule. Listen, week two is not so hot. Just let's just own that. All right. 
That being said, Ohio I mean, State's kicking off in the primetime slot, so who cares? <laughs> on on the Big Ten Network. On the Big Ten Network. But we're not talking about Ohio State. We're talking about Oregon and Boise State here. Now, I know, you know Oregon struggled last weekend. Uh, only put up 24 points. Got dropped in the to, AP, too. To Idaho. Won 24 to to 14 but i tell you what like like dylan looked pretty good he was 41 for 49 on passing uh 83 percent completion passing 380 yards two touchdowns here it just you you feel like that there should have been more points scored with with those kind of those kind of numbers here but i think oregon turns it around and they I think they'll just blow the doors out of out of Boise State. I got I got the ducks to cover. Kyle going with the ducks. Listen, I, I kind of like Boise this year. I'm not saying I love Boise, uh, you know, but I'm saying I kind of like Boise this year. I'm not saying they win this game. In fact, they're not. They're going to lose this game. But a spread of nearly twenty. Yeah. Do you, you know you know what their their last game was? Boise State. Please go ahead and uh, I mean, listen. I can't if I say no to that, or if I say yes to that. They they played Georgia Southern. Yeah. Where they won by eleven. It was fifty six to forty five. Oregon is going to score a lot of points here. Hey, Kyle. Uh, He's going to score a lot. Hey, Kyle, tell me what, tell me what, tell me what Oregon did last week. Yeah, they, they won, they won by 10 points. They didn't, they didn't put Against up an FCS school. There. Mm-hmm. I know, but I, I know this Oregon team and the Listen, players that you, they, you can't. that they have here, they should be able, they should be able to just to absolutely dominate put up points against Boise State. All I'm saying is using week one results as a point of argument in favor of Oregon is a wild choice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, so who, who, who do you got, Jared? I got Boise. Um, I, not to win. Oregon still wins. But again, 19 and a half points. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. They they barely beat Idaho last week. Boise's better than Idaho. And of course, Oregon's better than they were in week one. I'm not suggesting otherwise. But again, like it's just it's it's a big number. I, I think I, I think the final I think they end up winning by like 14, 13, 12, 19, 19 and a half is just too many points. I'm gonna go Boise. What is Odin? Right, so Odin? Odin says Oregon either struggles again or they'll absolutely or they'll kill Boise in response. I can easily see them winning by more than 21. He he has here for his pick favorite the spread. So uh, he has he has Oregon to cover. All right. And of course, if you want to hear our analysis on Ohio State and Western Michigan. Um, Kyle, you picked Ohio State, right? To cover? I did. We all did. Yep. Yep. Uh, I still had your coin in the middle. That's why I asked. I just wanted to be sure. Um, but yeah, if you want to hear our in-depth analysis on that, you can listen to our Thursday episode. You can listen to Know Your Enemy. Uh, but for now, we'll just let you know that all three of us picked Ohio State to win and cover on a 38 point spread. Game kicks off at 730 on the Big Ten Network. It's being played in Columbus. All right, um, Kyle, we're going to jump into chaos theory. But before we do that, let's take another ad break. Uh, you can avoid these ad breaks by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com. And of course, uh, you can... Uh, find all of our links at thesloopcast.com. Here are those ads now.
And we're back. Kyle. No one hit on chaos theory last week. Nope. And it doesn't matter who you picked. No one would have won. That is correct. Uh, no, und- no unranked team beat any ranked teams last week. They were obviously ranked on ranked games where ranked teams lost. But other than that, um, Odin chose Kansas State to lose. Uh, Kansas State this week. Uh, oh, I closed my tab. Gosh darn it. Uh, this week. Uh, I well, I I chose OK State. That that was my pick. Um, if we uh, take a look at the schedule, um, how many uh, Kyle? Who do you have? Like, I, I, there aren't. I also, there, I also had Oregon State. <laughs> I I didn't pick Oregon State. Or not Oregon. I'm sorry, Oklahoma State. Sorry, oh, Oklahoma State. You also chose Oklahoma. That's the second week in a row. Of course, last week I copied you. So, yeah. I I had I had in my note here as I was I believe looking you. through because the the game the games the games that I was looking at was that game Oklahoma State and Arkansas, Arkansas to be Oklahoma State, uh, other game to kind of keep an eye out for maybe Baylor and Utah that, yeah. that could that could potentially be close. Obviously, I always Iowa State and Iowa could be another one too. I didn't really see really anybody else that really intrigued me of trying to pick pick the underdog maybe app state versus clemson but that's just one point that's not yeah that's 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 no that's the thing clemson's ranked 25th that's there's a huge talent gap there and you only get a point out of it that's just it's not worth that's that yeah yeah, i think boise i think boise's a fun i mean Oregon's fell all the way to seventh, which felt drastic. But regardless, that's a that's a, you know, seventh ranked team is worth 19 points. That's a big payday. I heavily considered that just as like a big swing pick. Um, But yeah, I didn't see a lot of what I would call great options. Um, Arkansas, of course, is playing Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is ranked 16th. 16th is worth 10 points. Uh, that is Kyle and I's options. Uh, Odin is going with Kansas State losing to Tulane, which is an approximate, approximately the same score as Kansas State is uh, ranked just one behind Oklahoma State. Um, pretty good value, I would say, on both of those. Oklahoma State's only favored by seven and a half. Uh, Kansas State's only favored by nine and a half. I would say pretty decent values on those. Um, I think another good pick, but the problem is once again, kind of like with Clemson, you're not getting a lot of points, but Iowa state to Iowa. If you're, I, I think is, I think is like a very 50, 50 football game. Problem is Iowa's ranked 21st. So you're only getting like five points out of that. But I think it's a good option Um, for anyone. I I probably should have. I didn't intro the game. Chaos Theory is a game we invented that you have to pick an unranked team to defeat a ranked team. Uh, The ranked team's points are the their ranking flipped. So number one team is worth 25 points. The 25th team is worth one point and ever, you know, all of that in between. So that's the game. We call it chaos theory. Um, We used to call it choose your chaos or pick your chaos before we actually formally named the game. Now we call it chaos theory because that's a better name. Um, Kyle, any particular reason why you went with OK State to lose this week? I don't know. I just, I think from when I was looking at the, looking at the teams, looking at the schedules here, I just, 
I just liked the um, I just like the offense that that Arkansas has here, and just I think they'll be able to. I think they're they're going to be able to score some points against Oklahoma State, and and if you're if you're um. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just a gut feeling here. Um, there, again, there wasn't that many picks to really choose from here. Kind of, kind of like with there were, one here. There were only a few that I considered. I think another one to consider would have been Illinois beating Kansas. Again, Kansas is ranked nineteenth. Not a lot of points there. It's only seven points. Um, so I, I feel like that was an option. Um. You pointed out Utah Baylor. I think I think that was an option. Um, I just I kind of felt that the best value was either picking Oregon to lose or picking Arkansas. Mm -hmm. or excuse me, picking Oklahoma State to lose to Arkansas. Um, yeah, I just felt like that was the best value on the board as far as mix of likeliness and points. Um, Kansas State and Tulane, I feel like, is also, which is, of course, what Odin picks. I felt like it was approximately the same amount of risk, maybe slightly worse risk um, for one less point. It just Oklahoma State just kind of squeaked out as a slightly more likely and worth of, you know, one more point. So that's ultimately why I went there. The other options I liked just weren't worth a lot of points. And Oregon felt like too big of a swing. Oregon just felt like a little too big of a swing. If they had still been ranked in the top, you know, five, maybe, but falling down the seventh, it just, it wasn't, wasn't worth the risk. Mm. All right, Kyle. Um, I think that's it. I think that's the end of the show. Uh, do you, sir, have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh, kind of with the with the same theme of talking about basketball. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about basketball <laughs> again here. Uh, nothing, nothing in season here. But feel free, feel free if anybody is wanting to head on down to Cincinnati. The on uh, October the 18th, which is a Friday. Uh, so you can head on down to Cincinnati, where Ohio State and Cincinnati will be doing e an exhibition game, uh, playing for charity for mental health providers and charities. So it's all for a good cause there. Excellent. If uh, y'all are fiending for some basketball and fiending for some Ohio State basketball, it sounds like a good choice. Um, especially if you're in or near the Cincinnati area, you said it was in Cincinnati, right? Yep. Excellent. Uh, excellent cause as well. Um, don't you forget about Evan Pryor. Evan Pryor had a good weekend last weekend, Kyle, former Ohio state Buckeye running back. He did. Uh, there, there was another Ohio state running back that did well last weekend too. Who was that? There um, was. There was. I am drawing a blank. Yes, Hayden. That's right. Hayden. Hayden playing uh, for Colorado did now. Pretty well too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I think I think for the limited carries he had, he he looked pretty well too. So. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Kyle. Anything else in Kyle's corner? Nope. Nope. I I think that's it. All right, everyone. We're ending the episode there. Um, you can if you want to. Uh, head on over to the sloopcast.com. You can find t shirt store. You know what? I already, I already did that twice. I'm not going to do it again. Um, tonight's ending music will be brought to you by a Northeast Ohio band uh, called Signals Midwest. You can check them out in the link in the show notes below. If you're watching this on YouTube, and you're like, hey, why do you always introduce a band, but then no music plays? Well, it's only on the podcast feed because YouTube and music and copyright and yada, yada. But if you're watching on YouTube and you still want to hear the song, there is a link down in the show notes. So. 
With all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are Signals Midwest. <laughs>